Mason. Lucas McCain. Pleasure. I'm trying to find and capture images of our great predators before our greatest predators kill them all and stick them on some clubhouse wall. <laughs> Good luck with that. Yes, not the easiest. But, well, I love a challenge. The trick is to leave a big load of meat and relax and pray they don't mistake me for lunch. <laughs> oh! Good heavens! My bag! That thing is robbing me! Oh, good heavens! Don't worry. That thing is a coyote. A sneaky one, too. Wildlife photographer. Drop the bag. Leave the meat, mister. Leave it. Coyote, don't think about coming back. Full meat will tend to bring out the worst in the local population. <laughs> you are a gentleman. The bag also had a lot of my supplies. You've saved me days. I um, can't thank you enough. I'm, I'm, thank you. Don't worry about it. Uh, you take care, sir. I ain't the one trying to get myself eaten. I realize I am a fool. <laughs> Forgive me. And thank you very much once again. Look, you think maybe you should leave the wildlife photography to the fellas who know a little something about wildlife? If every great man had thought like that, there wouldn't be any great men. A little ignorance can go a long way. At least, that's what I tell myself. Or it can get you killed. But, hey, <laughs> good luck. Please, if I'm to attract any wildlife, I'll need some privacy. So, or is it an easterly? We're fine. We're fine. As long as it doesn't pick up. Hello again. Hello. Oh, hello. How are you, sir? McCain. Mr. McCain. I'm sorry, my, my nerves. I'm not quite the outdoor adventurer I thought. This is God's own country, and I feel I'm in purgatory. I know the feeling. Oh, I hope not. What you trying to take a picture of? Some more greedy coyotes? No. Wolves. Wolves. So you're determined to get yourself eaten? Oh, I hope not. I left the meat over there. I thought I'd be safe. Given the wind. Sure. If you've managed to attract the world's least intelligent wolf. Well, I... I... I'll wait with you for a while. Anything shows up, I'll protect you as needed. You are a gentleman. <laughs> You don't know me very well yet. Well, to me, you're a gentleman. Usually, I'm worse than the wolves. You had many dealings with wolves? Mr. McCain. Sure. But you've never been eaten. Not through a lack of trying on their part. Had a bad run-in with some once. Some friends of mine saved me. Wolves ain't great fans of man. Don't blame them. Yeah. Neither do I. Shh, shh, there's one. I think we got company. Yes, yes, there they are. In the trees. Now, don't do anything. I'm going to take a few photographs. Come on. Come on. Sort of it. 
that bait? Is that all of them? We might have kept the wolves from the door. My whole futile existence flashed before my eyes. Yeah, they can be pretty aggressive. What a way to literally a dog's dinner. Still worse things happen at sea. Do they? Well, I imagine. Perhaps wolves do better at sea. Are they good swimmers? Well, who knows? You have saved my poor foolish skin once again. Don't mention it. Well, I can't begin to repay my debt of gratitude. But no, I am eternally in your debt. I do, Mr. Mason, I do. You take care now. And you too, sir. So, you think that photograph will come out? I can't say with certainty, but I'm hopeful, sir. I'm due some good luck, no? <laughs> <laughs> Carry on like this? I'm not sure you are. I want to vote. I insist that I deserve the right to John! Vote. John Marston. Miss Tilly. That's Mrs. Tilly to you. <laughs> How are you? I'm okay. How are you? Congratulations. Thank you. I'm well. Well and happy and I miss you and Abigail. She's well. Jack's well. All is well, I think. I, I never thanked you for what you did. Oh, there's the trolley. I still think about all of you all the time. My life, it's different now. Mine too. But I still see a bunch of Charles and Uncle and Sadie. So not quite so different as Abigail would like. I married a lawyer. He's a fine man. We live in a house. Us too. I'm sorry. I've got to go. I'm late. But can I write to you and Abigail someplace? Yeah, we're up at Beecher's Hope over in Great Plains, West Elizabeth. I'll try. Be well, John Marston. Very good. Very good. Very good. Mr. Mason. <laughs> Mr. McCain. You want to be careful up here. This land can be real treacherous. Sure. Real treacherous. I've been here before. Have you? Yeah. Funny how things turn out. Ain't never how you expect, is it? No, I don't suppose it is. What you shooting? Eagles. You know, the images, they really are beautiful. All thanks to you. I'd be some poor creature's bad meal by now, many times over, but for you. Yeah, so I believe, but move back from the cliff edge. I'm trying to get an eagle there, there. They're beautiful, but unlike you, they can fly. <laughs> Too true. You really must think I'm a buffoon, don't you? You think I'm such a dimwit, I'd just slip off the edge of a cliff? No, but, well, maybe a little. Please, sir. I'm dense, but not that dense. This area is quite safe. Quite. Quite. Oh, oh! Ah, uh, damn! You were right. I am that much of a buffoon. Give me a hand, please. Put me out of my misery. Come here. Oh, 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 thank you. You know what? Bugger the eagles, I'm going home. You know, I really did get some, some amazing pictures, thanks to you. And somehow, I haven't quite broken my neck. You take care. And you too, sir. Sorry for all the trouble. Oh.